So usually I follow her Instagram workouts and they're posted as a carousel. So I can set an interval timer and then I can just scroll through them as the timer ends. But since Instagram is down right now, I'm just following them on YouTube and they're posted individually as shorts. So they're only about like 20 to 30 seconds long until the next move comes on the screen. But this kind of works out perfectly because I'm just easing myself into working out. Um, but I still prefer doing a high intensity workout for a shorter amount of time than doing a longer workout that's not as intense. So I did three rounds of all those moves. It's about 10 minutes and I'm pretty happy with that. I am sweating. I feel like I've worked out. So it was a good intro back to working out. Health in a cup. Roman was waiting outside with the pizza because he forgot the key and my phone was on silent. I was about to start eating the pizza. I was desperate. And then I had the couple sense. I was like, he's been gone for a while. And I looked at my phone. The anxious attachment sense. <laughs> oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. A little slice of Toronto. Mm -hmm. So I may have pushed myself a little too hard yesterday with that 10 minute HIIT workout. I am feeling really sore today, but that's kind of normal with, you know, when you take a hiatus from working out and then you work out again. Obviously that's normal. My throat is feeling a little sore today. We were gonna go grocery shopping so we could cook, but just not really feeling it, feeling kind of lazy. I just feel like I might be getting a bit sick. So we've ordered Mucho Burrito instead, and we will go grocery shopping tomorrow. Hopefully I will feel a little bit better. Very peaceful. I'm in a better mood sitting outside. I'm not living outside. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. <clears throat> this is nice.
it's Saturday and it is Roman and I's, Roman and I's, me and Roman's four year anniversary in a couple days. So we've booked a, a restaurant for dinner tonight since it is Saturday. We wanna go into downtown Calgary and see what it's about, you know? So makeup is done. The harder part is going to be figuring out what to wear. Um, I really only packed outdoor clothes because I assumed we would be outside most of the time. And I didn't want to take more than I needed. I do wish I brought one pair of jeans. I think those would have come in handy right now. Um, but instead, this is what we're working with. Bottom options are very slim. Um, mostly outdoor pants and sweats. And then in terms of actual tops, again, pretty slim pickings, a lot of sweats again. I do have some like button up shirts. I love this dress and I wore it to Roman's birthday in mid September. That was probably the last time I could get away with wearing that dress now that it's cold. And I think wearing black leggings underneath the dress to try and force the dress to work isn't a great option because the only pair of shoes that I can really wear out are my white Alberts. Not the most fancy pair of shoes, but the only other shoes I have are my hiking boots, my Birkenstocks, and my Adidas slides. So the sneakers are really all I can work with here. So this is what I'm starting with because this is pretty much like the nicest clothes I have, I guess. I did bring one bodysuit, um, thinking that, you know, might go to a patio or something in the summer. Never wore it all summer, um, but I am happy that I brought it. So I have this one bodysuit, and then these are actually outdoor North Face pants. They're like cargo pants, they have like cargo pockets, but they're black, so they look a bit more dressy um, than all the other pants, and the cut is nice, the fit is nice. Um, so paired with the bodysuit, they actually kind of look like, you know, a little bit dressy. So this is gonna be the foundation of my outfit, and uh, let's see where we go from here. <laughs> 